Hello everybody. On this video, uh, I'm going to be I've got a little bit of video of some of the cruise ends we've done and a car show that we've done this summer. Uh, the first cruise in was the one of the video that I had on about the uh, Thunder Over Murray, which was at the airport in Mount Pleasant. And uh, I have a video on there about that. That was our first cruise in. Then a couple of weeks after that, uh, we did the cruise in on the square in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee. Um, I have a little bit of video on here that I'm going to show you of that. Um, then a couple of weeks after that, we hauled it down to Lawrenceburg, Tennessee for the cruise in at the big lots there and had a huge turnout. Bunch of people came by and looked at it. In fact, we had such a big turnout, we didn't have any time to, to get any video of it. So I don't have any video of, of uh, that turnout at that cruise in. Then uh, Labor Day, we hauled it back down to Lawrenceburg to the uh, Sacred Heart Catholic Church has a big Labor Day festival there every year and they had a car show this year and we took it down there and and entered it to compete uh, we didn't win anything but it was a lot of fun it was blazing hot again so um, also I'm getting ready to make a whole lot of modifications to the the mini semi and I talk about them a little bit on this video too so hope you like this video another one on the mini semi here we are at the Mount Pleasant car show or not car show but cruise in that way it's open to pretty much anything that's why I'm here because <laughs> I sure don't fit in Here we are at the Sacred Heart Catholic Church Labor Day Festival in Lawrenceburg at the car show. Cars all down through there. And coming back down this other side. Oop, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Coming back down this side. This is more of the cars. And then they've got a big kids play area. All this stuff back here that's for little kids. All kinds of stuff going on. They got a cornhole tournament back there. A jumpy house. All kinds of stuff going on. These little pedal cars right here are, they were pedal cars to start out with and back in the late 50s, early 60s, Murray, Ohio Manufacturing Company made all these cars and they linked them together and used the pool car. And years ago, the pool car basically fell apart and my dad and I made this little pool car right here out of a snapper lawnmower frame and it pulls the cars around the circle pretty cool heading back down toward where the mini semi is parked
she don't like it. So I've had plans all along for these windows to slide up and down. Um, I'm not really interested in having a way I can crank them up and down. So what I've, what I've done is just I've epoxied this handle to the glass where you can raise it up and down. And uh, all I'm going to do, I think, is see if I can figure out a piece, a way to put a piece across here with just a latch on it to hold the bottom of the window once I once I push it all the way up it'll flip around and catch the bottom of the window just to keep it from falling down so got the one on the other side the same way so let's see if I can figure out a way of doing that I think I got a pretty decent idea how to do it so let's get to it got my Instagram address on the back creations underscore Kevin's got it put on the back of the semi and I just got some little stickers here with Facebook and YouTube stickers to go on there for showing that Kevin's creations is my YouTube and my Facebook and then I did a little something in here made an armrest and I have a little latch right here that when you pull this up when you pull this all the way up you can spin this latch around and that'll just basically lock underneath the bottom of the glass to hold it up you can see that one over there is up and it's latched so that's what that's for so I've been working on that So my six spline nut going in a 31 spline didn't hold up. I was a little afraid of that. It even kind of stripped the inside of the hub, the splines on the inside of the hub out. So maybe it would have helped if I'd used grade eight nuts here, um, maybe. So what I was thinking was trying to figure out a way that I can lock it to this hub and I see this flange going around here. Well, this is one of the axles that I had made the first time and I've, at least the nuts are not stripped out on it. But what I'm thinking is if I put this hub on here like that still have the splines in there somewhat supporting now I was thinking about how could I lock this shaft to this flange right here so I saw a sprocket and I thought well if I set that down on there what I could do is grind off like every other tooth or maybe two teeth here and then cut a slot down through this hub for each one of the teeth that I leave on there to lock into. And once I get those on there, that will slide down through there. Then I can drill a hole all the way through, through the hub, the shaft, out the other side of the hub and put a grade eight quarter inch bolt on there. And that would lock this together. And it would also hold the axle and the hub together. So I wouldn't have to put any kind of nut or anything on the outside here. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. And if this works out good, I'll go ahead and do it to the other hubs just to reinforce it. If that's going to strip out, it's going to need more more reinforcing so let me get started on that and see what we come up with so here's what I did I took this hub and I ground part of the teeth down on it well then as you can see I cut slots in here 
not the prettiest thing in the world. But anyway, that slides down in there like that. And then I'm going to drill one of these set screw holes all the way through the axle shaft and put a grade 8 bolt in there to fasten that together. And that'll be just another way of locking the axle and the hub together. Let's hope that works. Well, if y'all have been watching my videos, I had to make some axle adapters. Basically, to go from the one inch shaft on the transaxle, and then I have these car hubs out here. They're actually 31 spline, and I, I made a little axle adapter to be able to do that. Well, uh, they've not been holding up very well. Um, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Uh oh. Uh, I've rebuilt actually both of these on here uh, and I've rebuilt them in using grade 8 bolts instead of just the regular three-quarter all thread 